Hello everyone, hope you are doing good. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to use Fluent CRM. Fluent CRM is an all-in-one email marketing platform and also a CRM that will help you to increase your customer relationship. Fluent CRM is popular with persons that have a WordPress website as it is a WordPress plugin. So all you will need to do is go on to fluentcrm.com once you're on the website, as you can see right here, Fluent CRM is a self-hosted email marketing automation plugin for WordPress. You will be able to manage your leads and customers, email campaigns, automate email sequencing, learner and affiliate marketing. So you're going to tap on try for free. And in the future, if you want, you can go onto their paid plan as they do offer some paid plans. You can see right here, if you'd like to use them on only one website, you can do that for $103. And you can, if you want to go up to five websites or you like to get 50 sites, you can go up to their $3.99 plan as you can see right there. So they do offer different price points. All you'll need to do is tap on try free. Once you have done that, you will be redirected to this page. Once on this page, you can scroll down and you can read more about the plugin and you can see that it is highly rated. You can see right here so you can read what other persons have to say about the plugin. Then you are going to tap on download. Once you have downloaded it, all you'll need to do is go on the admin page of your WordPress website. Once on the admin page, I want you to tap on plugins from the left hand menu option. After you have tapped on plugins, you are going to tap on add new from the top of the page. Then you are going to select upload plugin. Then you are going to tap on choose file. After you tap on shows file, you are going to tap right where you see the zip file that you had downloaded and you are going to tap on open. Then you'll tap on install now. Once the plugin has been installed, all you'll need to do is tap on activate plugin. And once it has been activated, as you can see right here, all you'll need to do now, you could go over to the left hand menu option right here. And we'll normally see it. All you'll need to do is go over to the left hand menu option and you're going to tap on Fluent CRM as you can see it right here. And you'll tap on Dashboard. After you have tapped on Dashboard, you'll be redirected to this page. And you can see Welcome to Fluent CRM. All we'll need to do is simply scroll down, tap on Not right now as I will be showing you how to set it up. So we can tap on not right now. Once you have done not right the dashboard as you can see right here. And you can see the different features that you'll have access to on the left hand menu option. So you can see that you'll be able to set up your email campaign. You can also use Fluent CRM to create forms and automations. So this is definitely an all-in-one marketing platform which is perfect for anyone that has a WordPress website and based on numerous surveys, WordPress websites are the most popular. So more than likely you will have a WordPress website. So all you'll need to do now, first thing you can do is you could add your contacts. To add contacts, you can hover over contacts right here. Then you are going to tap on all contacts. Once you have tapped all contacts, you will be redirected to this page as you can see right here and you are going to tap on add contact in the top right hand corner by doing that you can add a single contact at a time but if it is a case that you like to import your csv file you can do that by simply tapping on import after you have done that you can hover over emails from the top menu option then from there you can see all campaigns email templates and you'll see email sequences so you can create email automations if you want but we are going to tap on all campaigns then we're going to tap on create new campaign so we are going to be creating our first campaign and we'll call it test then we're going to tap on create campaign 
After you have done that, you will be redirected to this dashboard. And from here, all you'll need to do now is simply scroll down and you can start writing out your email right there by tapping on start writing here. Once on this page, you can start creating your email. So you can type out whatever you want right here. So I'll type in simple answers. Let's do that real quick. Another thing that you can also do if you like to add a link, you can do that. And you can also go over to the right hand menu option and you could change the style and so on if you want. And if it is a case that you like to add an image or anything else, you could simply tap on a plus in the top left hand corner right beside email body. And then from there, you could scroll down and you can select what you would like to add. So let's say I would like to add an image. I'm going to tap on image right there. Then you can tap on upload and you'll be able to upload an image from your device. So I'm going to upload a random image. Let's say this one. After you have done that, you can see right there. Then you can scroll down. And if it is a case that you would like to also add a button below it, you can go over to the top left hand corner once more, tap on the plus. Then from there, you could scroll down and you could tap on buttons right here. So let's do that real quick. After I've tapped on buttons, you can see that the button has been added. Then you could add in the text that you want. So let's say click here. After you have done that, you can also tap right here where you see button and you can change the style if you want, as you can see right there. There are numerous editing options that you can choose from. Once you're finished editing it and it is to your liking, you can tap on save. After it has been saved, we are going to tap on continue in the top right hand corner. By tapping on continue, you'll be able to add your email subject. You can also add an email pre-header if you want. And if you would like to set custom name and email address, you can do that. And I do recommend that you send a test email so you can tap right here to send a test email. But if you'd like to go ahead, you can tap on continue to next step. Let me add an email subject real quick. Then I'll scroll down. You could tap on continue to next step. After you have tapped on continue to next step, from here you can select the contacts that you would like to send it to. And then you'll tap on continue to next step and from there you'll be able to send it. Now, let's say instead of creating an email campaign, I want to use Fluent CRM to create a form. All I'll need to do is tap on forms from the top menu option or you could go over to the left hand menu and tap on forms. After you have done that, you can see activate Fluent Forms integration. As Fluent Forms, just like how you have Zoho, offer different platforms. So you can tap right there to integrate it and you can see that that has been done in the background quite easily. Now you can tap on create your first form. Then from there, you can select the template that you'd like to use. So let's say I would like to use this template. Pop up all you'll need to do is add a form title. Then you could add the list and from there you can also add tags. After you have done that, you'll tap on create form and you'll be able to create your first form. And also by going over to the left hand menu option once more, you could tap on automations. And from there, you could create your first automation by tapping on create a new automation in the top right hand corner. You can see some different templates that you can choose from, but most of these templates, you'll have to be on the paid plan to use them. As you can see right here, most of them are staying pro. The only one that is available on the free plan is new form subscription. So you could tap on that and from there you could scroll down, tap on continue. And then you'll be able you'll be able to create it but you'll need to add an internal label right here let me do that real quick so i'll simply type in test then i'll tap on continue once you have done that from here you can see how your automation will look so you can see first last name email address and you can set different conditions if you want 
then you'll tap on save and continue and that's about it when it comes on to fluent crm you can see it here so you can add different steps if you want by tapping on the plus right there you can add the different steps that you want hope you found this tutorial helpful and informative if you did be sure to hit the like button and subscribe